Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Skills. In this tutorial, we will learn how to calibrate VSIM software. So before calibrating VSIM, according to your study area, you should know some basic parameters of the vehicle behavior and driver behavior in your particular area. For example, in vehicle behavior, you should know desired speed of your vehicle, desired acceleration of your vehicle, desired deacceleration of your vehicle and so on. So how to edit or how to insert those parameters in a VSIM software that we will see first. For that go to base data, distribution, select desired speed. So one table will going to open. So here you can see plenty of options are available for different types of speed distribution. So here on the right hand side you can see the X and F of X is also given. So X is 4 and 6 that means at 4 your F of X will be 0 and at 6 F of X will be 1. So your distribution will be from 0 to 1 and that value is 4 km per hour to 6 km per hour for 5 km per hour distribution function. So you can assign any of this function to your particular vehicle type. If you want to define your own vehicle speed distribution then just right click add and here you can insert your upper and lower limit okay same way for other parameters base data function maximum acceleration here you can see if i will select a car then it is having a plenty of options available for maximum acceleration and deacceleration so if you want to edit them just go to the car and here you can see one graph will be plotted for maximum acceleration and deacceleration function okay so you can edit with the help of this same way you can change any of the function that is desired acceleration maximum deacceleration desired deacceleration critical speed lateral drift speed and boarding delay okay so this is about the vehicle behavior in your model you can calibrate the vehicle behavior in this manner now same way if you want to calibrate your software according to your study area based on your driving behavior then again go to base data then driving behavior and here you can see six options are available that is urban right side rule freeway footpath cycle track and also urban that is defined by me so if you are using urban motorized then double click on that First, we are calibrating the following parameters. That means if I am following some other car, then what should be my behavior? First one is look ahead distance, that is minimum and maximum. So whenever you are talking about an urban thing, then you must have minimum distance as 20 meter. 20 to 30, that is my suggestion. If you feel according to your area, this distance is different then you can choose that different according to your area then maximum now number of intersection object that means in between you and 20 meter how much how many geographical objects are there that means signal head is there uh, whether speed reduce area is there so all of these parameters will be considered by your car and your driver and it will implement according to that same way number of intersection vehicles similarly the look back distance then behavior during recovery from speed breakdown sometimes software will also be generated in your application now after recovering of a software what should be the behavior of your driver whether they are recovering at a fast rate or a slow rate if you are selecting the slow rate then it will work according to that now how much speed will be recovered let's consider 60 percent acceleration 40 percent safety distance 110 percent and distance will be 2000 meter so this is the recovery of your original or you can say that before software situation now next is car following model now in a vsim there will be two car following model you will get first one is vietman 74 and another one is vietman 99 and you can see the third option no interaction so whenever you are walking with a pedestrian area select this one no interaction okay now for the urban traffic or vehicular traffic vietman 74 will also be good and vietman 79 will give you plenty of options to calibrate so first vietman 74 then 
it will have average standstill distance additive part of a safety distance and multiplying part of a safety distance so actually your safety distance or standstill distance will be defined from these three parameters okay so you can also select or you can also add your vehicles and you can define all this cc0 cc1 and increase acceleration according to your wish for example for car i would like to have a cc0 as 1.8 i can choose that then 1.9 then 2.1 so accordingly i can choose any of the value for my category of vehicle same way if i will choose vidman 99 i will suggest if you are working with a signalized intersection or mid block of your road then go for vidman 99 in a indian condition then cc0 to cc9 are the parameter that you can calibrate and same way you can choose different class of a vehicle for a different values of cc0 cc1 and increase acceleration okay so here are the list of cc0 to cc9 parameters so next one is lane change so in a lane change first option is general behavior that is whether your vehicle will going to select a lane on pre lane selection or slow lane rule that means there will be one lane which is a fast moving lane and another one is a slow moving lane so right now we are selecting pre lane selection then necessary lane change rule that is maximum deacceleration of own and trailing vehicle that is our vehicle and the vehicle which is trailing by us then similarly accepted deacceleration then waiting time before diffusion minimum headway that is both front and rear then safety distance reduction factor then here you can see overtake reduce speed area vehicle routing decision look ahead maximum deacceleration for cooperative braking then cooperative lane change is also there then rear correction of lateral position is also there so similar way you need to observe in your area what is driving behavior according to this lane change parameters okay so according to that you can input those value for different parameter of lane changing behavior by driver similarly for lateral distance or lateral position you will also have some plenty of options like desired position at free flow you can select right left or any or middle of lane so currently as per indian scenario we are considering any then observe adjacent lane whether your vehicle will going to observe adjacent lane and according to that vehicle it will going to behave then diamond queuing diamond queuing is the best option for a indian condition when we are working with a signalized intersection because at a queuing you will always observe that in a indian condition no one is following the lane protocols okay so your queue will be formed according to diamond whenever there will be a space your two wheel of vehicle will stand there and likewise so i will suggest select the diamond queuing then consider next turn same thing collision time gain minimum longitudinal speed time before direction change and overtake left and right again for the indian condition i will select overtake left and right so here one more option is also given the exception for overtaking vehicle of the following vehicle class so which vehicle cannot overtake other vehicle for example vehicle class car it can overtake from left but it cannot overtake from right so you can provide the rule according to that same way the next option is signal control so here you can see the reaction after end of green that means either the amber period will come or either the red period will come what should the behavior of your driver at amber signal it should continuously check or one decision okay so continuously check that means continuously the driver will be thinking about whether to go or not whether to go or not and one decision that means whatever rule that you have defined according to that it will going to act so if you want a more precise result according to your defined rule select this option one decision so these are the probability factors alpha beta 1 and beta 2 okay so same way reaction after end of red 
I will suggest select go same as green instead of stop same as red. So the reason I am telling you this go same as green is so the rule for green is it will start implementing or start thinking about accelerating its vehicle. Okay, so it will only occur when green will be there on your signal head. So it will consume some time for the first vehicle to accelerate. But whenever there is an amber period or end of a red, if we will provide a behavior as same as green, that means start thinking about accelerating your vehicle. When it is actual green, then start moving your vehicle. So it will save some time in thinking process. Okay. Same way, reduce safety distance close to a stop line. So whenever you are talking about standstill distance at a signalized intersection, you will always find your vehicle are closer than the actual or other places of your road. So that's why you can reduce those safety distance. So factor start upstream of a stop line and start end downstream of your stop line. So when this factor will going to apply, that is upstream 100 meter upstream from your stop line and downstream of your stop line. Okay. So there are other options are also autonomous driving. You can also change the platooning possible or platooning behaviors. Then driver error. If you want to carry out any sensitivity analysis based on your driver's error, then what will be the possibility if driver committed some error? You can edit these options also. Okay. So this is brief about your driver and vehicular characteristics that can be used to calibrate your model according to your study area. I hope you guys like the information and it will be helpful in your future. Thanks for watching.